Welcome back. I'm Margaret Harding McGill, a technology reporter for Politico. You know from our last video that the net neutrality debate about the rules for traffic on the internet could affect everything you do online. Binge watching your favorite show after a long day at work? Yeah, that too. But who sets these rules in the first place? In short, it's the federal government, an agency called the Federal Communications Commission. In 2015, the FCC decided the internet is a common carrier. This is a classification that allows internet providers to be regulated kind of like the railroads used to be. Websites, videos, and other digital media are treated like goods being shipped around the country by railroad cars. As a common carrier, this internet railroad has to abide by three rules of net neutrality. Net neutrality is the concept that companies providing internet service should treat all web traffic equally. The first rule is no blocking. This means that an internet service provider can't prevent a user from going to a website. The second rule is no throttling. This means that an internet provider can't artificially slow the speed to connect to a specific website. And the third rule is no paid prioritization. This means that a website can't pay extra for a faster connection to consumers. So what happens if a company breaks the rules? In theory, they could face a very big fine from the FCC. But cable and phone companies say this system is too old fashioned. They think today's internet should be less like a railroad and more like a multi-lane highway. They want more flexibility to offer different lanes at different speeds and experiment with new content and services. The new FCC chairman, appointed by a new president, agrees and is planning to change the rules. But that's only one side of the debate. For the other side, and for a glimpse at the future of the internet, you'll have to watch our next video.